Hey guys, it's Matt Yagi here with Alliance Abroad Australia. So I'm on my third week in Australia. I've survived, had some interesting experiences so far, and today I want to talk about my job. Um, I work at the Q Station Resort. It's the old quarantine station, and back in the day, whenever ships came to Australia that had sick passengers, they stopped there and they quarantined everyone. And so it, the buildings are about 150 years old, and it's really interesting history, but kind of creepy as well. A lot of people died there, and they actually still have the old burial grounds. And the Q Station is supposedly one of the most severely haunted places in Australia. And so we actually do ghost tours there, and they're pretty famous, actually. And um, I have yet to do one. Uh, one of these days, my boss keeps nagging me to do it. So I'm going to have to, but I told him I'll do the family-friendly one, because there's one that's actually done by a medium in the middle of the night, and she does her little hoodoo voodoo magic in the cemetery or wherever. And that's just, I'm just, I can't do that too much. Um, anyway, so on weekends we work really late because they're doing the ghost tours till late at night. So it's after midnight and my boss wants me to go pick up this last tour group in the shuttle bus. You know, the one that I told you about that's been so tricky for me to learn how to drive. So anyway, so I go down and, you know, I'm kind of creeped out because it's in the woods and it's late at night. And I'm thinking of all these scary stories people have told me about all these ghosts they've seen and... And so it's already just kind of a spooky environment, and so I turn up the radio, and I'm just kind of singing along, you know, I've got Shania Twain going, it's some old song, and I'm trying to make myself feel better about how creepy it is, and I arrive down on the beach to wait for everyone, and I'm sitting in the van on the wharf, and there's no one there, it's pitch black, and so it's already just creepy, and there's this building directly across from where I'm in the van, and it's the old acid showers. And this is where most of the hauntings are supposed to take place. They used to give the passengers acid showers. They thought it healed them or whatever, but it actually just destroyed their skin. So it's actually pretty horrifying. Anyway, so as I'm sitting there, uh, I'm just looking at the window and I'm singing along. And suddenly, or I'm looking out my window, and there's a window in the building across from me. And suddenly the blinds part in the windows. And there's this shadowy silhouette. Oh my... <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, that's that's Todd there. Hey, Todd. Wow. Oh, my gosh. You just made my video that much better. Oh, my heart is, my heart is pounding right now. Ooh. Um, any, oh, wow. I just about sharded my pants. Um, anyway, as I was saying, um, in the window, these blinds just part, and there's this shadow silhouette in the window, and I freak out. And I'm ready to drive off, but I can't because i got to pick up these people. So instead, I close my eyes, and I'm actually saying to myself, Fairy penguins, fairy penguins, because that's what my aunt says whenever there's anything unpleasant going on. And finally, the people, <laughs> the people come, and anyway, I book it out of there. I was so scared, and I, I'm pretty sure I saw my first ghost. And hopefully that's the last one, but if I take the ghost tour, I will let you know if I see more. Alright, over and out, everyone.